Afraid and panic and worried, thousands of Afghans mobbed Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport in a desperate attempt to flee. Hundreds of thousands more line up two border crossings between Pakistan and Afghanistan to allow humanitarian migration. The Kaman border, which is also a central transit point, will remain open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily, while the southern crossing in Spin Boldak is allowing holders of Pakistan or Pakistani national identity cards safe passage. Afghans were frightened the country will revert to the harsh Islamic law imposed by the Taliban when they ruled the country from 1996 until 2001. It was also a time when women were forced to wear burqa and accompanied by a male relative when they ventured outside. Women are also barred from advancing in education or working outside the home. Music is also banned, thieves lose their hands, and adulterers are stoned to death. However, the Taliban have presented themselves as a more moderate group in recent years and vowed not to exact punishment to collaborators of the past regime. Still, a majority of Afghans are skeptical of the militia. Will there be a return of the Al-Qaeda? U.S. intelligence was quick to warn the return of extremism. The Osama bin Laden funded Al-Qaeda to regain a haven in Afghanistan, with the Taliban taking back control of the country. But the Taliban have pledged to fight terrorism and will not allow their country to be a base of terrorist groups. Perhaps they learned their lessons when U.S. forces toppled them in 2001 for harboring bin Laden, who used Afghanistan as its base to launch its attacks on U.S. soil on 11 September 2001. In addition, the U.S. military gained technological advancement in the past 20 years, vastly improving its capability to eliminate suspected terrorists remotely without stationing troops in any region. Intelligence reports also indicated that Afghanistan is home to an Islamic State group affiliate that launched a series of attacks targeting Shiite Muslims in the region. Although the Taliban condemned the attacks and fought the IS over territorial disputes, it remains to be seen if they will sustain suppressing the Islamic extremists. There is so much uncertainty as to the future of Afghanistan. One thing is clear, with the U.S. pullout from the region, desperate Afghans worry about what will happen to their country.